Jim Beresford, thank you for joining me. You are, of course, named in the Robot Proof Recruiter, you and Bonk. So I had to invite you on to ask you three tough questions. Ooh. Are you feeling ready? I know you've had a big week. You're not? Uh, no, you know me. I'm never ready for these kind of things, Katrina. So but, but He can talk a lot, so we should be fine. So, <laughs> <laughs> Just a ha- so, of course, my important thing all the way through the book is how does your tech... How does your HR tech put the human first? What is it that's special about Bonk that does that? I think there's a number of special things, but but in my opinion, those human touch yeah. points that we're able to support with Vonk, probably from the candidate perspective, mm-hmm. come in the fact that we're able to support clients with their multi-posting to sites that have direct apply. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that human ability to make it easier for them to apply. Mm-hmm. From the marketer's side of things, yeah. The data in the background, um, yeah. that data allows more human choices, again, on those touch points and simplifies mm-hmm. it for the recruiter, basically moving that that perception, you know, that mm-hmm. we're going to advertise on the right channels, but then it's not on the right channels for the candidates. So those yes. little touch points, you know what I mean? I think are really it key. doesn't help if you put it over here and they're over there, does it? Of course not. I mean, the, the thing is, we all know it's like the, the David Attenborough moment, isn't it? If you talk mm-hmm. about the habitats that the recruiters live in, the, yeah. the, the amount of habitats that they live in now is just mind-blowing, yeah. really. It you is. know. It's and so how can a recruiter choice. understand that? Do you know what I mean? How can they be everything a recruiter we need them to be mm-hmm. and to be human? How can they be HR? How can they be a human recruiter yeah. without reading a wonderful book like yourself? <laughs> that wasn't even staged ah oh, well, that sounds amazing okay so uh mind you I almost feel like you might have saved this already answered this one but where does it save people time so where does Vonk save people time because I'm a big believer it has to save time or you don't get it oh completely the 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 intelligent automation that we talk about the ability to automate yeah. job posting so basically yeah. within job post one of our suites of solutions mm. what starts in the ATS ends up in the ATS at a touch of a button yeah. So it removes that recruiter having to Mm -hmm. go and find out what job boards, what channels, and it it lets them be human. And I think that's the time they need to be involved in. Do the things they're good at, again, along that journey. Not just moving stuff around in data boards. No. Oh, no. I think, you know, we're we're multiple levels of things that we do as recruiters these Mm. days. And I think without the right tools in front of them, because years ago, it was this, wasn't it? This and a, well, it this and a filing like... cabinet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Was well, actually the, the one with the Omni. We can explain one... it to the kids in the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was the suitcase with the. <laughs> yeah, well, then the headset that was yeah. stuck to the desk. Because Jim and but... I have only heard this from our parents. We have no idea. We're too young. <laughs> oh, com- no idea what a Rolodex is or a filing cabinet <laughs> no. database. No idea no. at all. No idea. But that that was simplified. Yeah. So by simplifying the recruitment marketing tools, we allow the recruiter then to to add those to those human touch points, really. Sounds so. amazing. It's got to be done. Okay, so my third and final question. So I told you this would be fun. When leaders are buying HR tech, what's the number one mistake they should avoid? Just one? Yes, um, but like then, well, I'm happy, I think, you know, we'll gather a few over these videos, but yeah, if you, if you want to throw in two, it's Friday, I'll let you. <laughs> Thank you. I think the assumption and presumption. So mm-hmm. I think it's very easy for people to assume they're buying the right tech for the individuals in the organization yeah. and the people they're trying to recruit. It's a little like the ice cream moment, you know, they mm-hmm. run out, best will in intention, buy the ice cream, 99, flake. Chocolate yeah. sauce, nuts, lactose intolerant mm. people in the company. Nobody likes nuts. They're not buying it for the right reason. It's, it's the presumption yeah. and assumption. But also assuming and presuming that that technology, while it's yeah. solving a problem today, will it solve the problems and challenges we have tomorrow? And if it doesn't play nicely with oh, other tech, God. it mm. is not going to work. So try yes. not to assume or presume involve relevant stakeholders is what I would say anyway. So. That's amazing. If people would like to have a demo, talk to you, where do they find you? I mean, obviously well, we're recruiters, it'll be LinkedIn, but where else can they find you? <laughs> they can find me. So I will be, uh, depending on when the video goes out, I'm going to be uh, the Recruit Awards on the 29th of September 
going to be Happy unleashed to get it out in Paris. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be unleashed in Paris. I'm going to be at a LinkedIn yeah. event in Dublin. But yeah, find me on LinkedIn, reach out to me, say hello, and yeah. we'll uh, tell you how we can simplify your recruitment marketing. Brilliant. Thanks so much, Jim.